this, 99.9% .9 of the creatures that walked the Earth before us are now extinct. Some were bigger and more powerful than we are, so why did they disappear? The answer lies in number four on our countdown. Could their fate ultimately be ours? When I look up at night and I see a quiet sky, all I could think of is that it's a shooting gallery with wayward asteroids that have us in their sights. Asteroids are chunks of rock believed to be the debris left over from the birth of the planets. They can be as small as a grain of sand or as large as the state of Texas. I'm not worried about the black hole crumbling Earth. I'm not even worried about the gamma ray burst. I'm worried about the next asteroid. The average handgun fires a bullet at approximately 1,000 feet per second. The average asteroid travels more than 60 times faster. And when a large enough one of these cosmic cannonballs hits a planet, the effects are catastrophic. Look at the moon. Every night it comes out to remind us that on cosmic scales, the universe is violent. The universe can be catastrophic. There are tens of thousands of craters on the moon and each was caused by an asteroid impact. Even more have collided with the Earth, but weather has softened the scars. We have a polite word for them, they're the near-Earth objects. But really, these are the things that can render us extinct. The last species to witness a giant asteroid collision didn't live to tell about it. 65 million years ago, there was a major asteroid strike just off the Yucatan Peninsula. That almost certainly was the primary cause of the extinction of the dinosaurs. One of the few species that survived that impact were tiny scavenging rodents that live deep underground. With their main predator out of the picture, 65 million years later, those mammals evolved to take over the planet. It's this two-edged sword. The asteroid that took out the dinosaurs enabled mammals to form whole branches of the tree of life that led to us. So do you love the asteroids or do you hate them? To keep us from going the way of the dinosaurs, a network of professional and amateur astronomers around the globe are combing the galaxy. They map and name every asteroid they find, and so far they've located more than 100,000. One was discovered recently, the end of 2004. Fine, it was a new asteroid. Who cares? Until you start plugging in the orbital parameters into your computer. You plug those in and then you watch where it goes. You can project forward where you expect to find this thing in the future. And you know what we found? This asteroid on Friday the 13th, April 2029, will come close enough to Earth to dip below our communication satellites in orbit around Earth. This asteroid called Apophis will just miss us on this go round. However, depending on how the Earth's gravity affects its orbit, we may not be so lucky when it returns seven years later. Depending on exactly where it passes in 2029, there's a decent chance, small, but uh, a very noticeable chance, uh, one in a few thousand, that it will then strike the Earth in 2036, actually on April 13th again. If Apophis does hit the Earth in 2036, the effect would be devastating. It would create a tsunami hundreds of feet high that could race across the ocean at supersonic speeds. It's big enough to create the worst damage to life on Earth in recorded history. While the impact could wash away large parts of California, Apophis is not big enough to wipe us out completely. And luckily, odds are we'll dodge this bullet. But scientists say sooner or later, Earth will be in the sights of a much bigger asteroid, one big enough to wipe out